welcome back in this video we are going to go through how to quickly and easily either create or find color palettes for your artwork so you may have noticed if you've watched any of my previous illustrator videos the color palette that appears sometimes at the right of the screen these are color palettes i've either created or found on adobe color or capture and you can find them if you don't see this in your version of Illustrator, just go up to window and go to libraries and it'll show up at the side. It's usually like the Adobe icon and in that you'll also see any graphics that you've made. A lot of these are ones that I've copied and pasted to like Photoshop. Also patterns I've created in Adobe Capture. And this is new because you used to only be able to get the patterns in Photoshop. So I think this is new with the 2018 update. So in order to get the color themes to show up in your library, you need to go to color.adobe.com. And I have just selected like a blue color and I'm on shade. So it will automatically pull up shades of the color you have selected. So if I switch this to a beige it's just different beige and brown colors you can select each one and edit in the slider if you would like to change it you can also go to like compound complementary any of these other options and it will automatically update the color palette for the color rule that you have selected and I think this color palette looks really nice so I'm just going to click save I'm just gonna name this one ocean because it reminds me a lot of like nautical themes because you have like the the water and the sand and then save so you can either download the file so it's you automatically have the swatches you can edit the color you can publish it or it tells you when it was published And I want to go back to create. So you can see all of the different options that you have based on one color. And like I said, you can go down, you can edit it. It also gives you like the RGB color, the hex code, CMYK, any color option that you would need for your artwork, you can get all of the values that you need. So you can always see the themes that you have created. But the one really fun thing that I like is you can explore. So this gives you an option of seeing what other people have created and you can save them to your library for yourself. So these are the most popular. There's also most used. Random. Since it's almost Christmas, I'm just going to look up Christmas. And it looks like these are primarily the same color palettes being used over and over and over again. You can appreciate it. You can save it to your library. So the other option is to use Adobe Capture. Adobe Capture is a app you can download for your phone. I have mine in a business folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, it already has my color palettes from my library. To create a new palette, click the blue button with the plus sign. And as you can see, it automatically opens up your camera. Take the picture if it's something in front of you and it's automatically saved. Now you can go into camera roll and I'm just going to find a photo that I want to use. And as you can see, it automatically tries to pop up and add the colors, but you can slide them around the image to get the exact colors that you would like from the photo. I very rarely like the colors that it pops in automatically so a lot of times I like to play around with this. You can also use the sliders or a color wheel 
after this step, you just have to click the um, like the check mark. So once you're happy, click the check mark. And like I said, you can adjust the brightness and any of the color sliders saved to your library and you're good to go. Once you're back in Illustrator, you can see that all of your new color palettes have been added into your libraries. So if you wanna see them in swatches, right click, add to swatches, and you will see that it has appeared. And you can go ahead and change your background, change any of your elements to these colors. So it's very easy to create your own color palettes and add them in to Illustrator. It's a fun way to kind of just take a look out there to get some ideas um, on things that may work. And I especially really love using Adobe Capture to either create patterns or to come up with the color palette. It's really fun kind of going through your own library of photos to see what you can create. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.